<laughs> What's going on, Chris? Coach Justice, how are you? I'm well. I was having some technical difficulties, so I'm sorry about that. That's all right. Hey, I've known you for a long time. You're good. There's, <laughs> there's not much you could do to, to upset me, so it's all good. So how are you? Let's talk about the schedule real quick. Your thoughts um, on this schedule? Um, how, was it hard to put together? Yes, I think it was challenging um, just due to the fact that with us going to Comfort Shoes say we had to um, take off some games and add some games because we have the Comfort Shoes say and Wet Challenge. So we had to make rooms for that. So um, moving some games around made it a little bit challenging, like opening up. You know, we usually open up around the 11th and 8th like everybody else. But um, unfortunately, we had to move our exhibition game up um, closer to November than later. Um, then we go to Houston Christian comes to us. Then we go to U of H, which is going to be a challenging game going on the road so early, um, just like going to Texas State, who were really good last year. Um, UTSA, Karen does a great job there. I think her team would really be good this year. Um, but then we try to get Florida a and here. Um, we went there last year, and they gave us a really good um, game. Going out to Texas Tech is always hard, as you know. Um, we have UTA here, um, who is Sharika Wright, who's a good friend of mine. Um, she has a really good team as well. We'll go back over there to SMU in Dallas, and we take the long trip to Utah Valley. That's our challenge game, as well as UTRGV, which is our challenge game as well. All right, I'm going to enlarge the screen so I can see you more, see you clearly, see you better. <laughs> okay. Had Coach Wright on. She's been on this show a few times now. I'm glad to to get you on the round bar of your takeover. And Sharika kind of, put a bug in my ear to get you on the show, which I'm glad she did because I'm like, yeah, I know Raven for years. So yeah, I need to get on the show. <laughs> so We've been on each other a long time. Yeah. If you don't mind, how long have you known each other? You covered our first game at HBU when I was the assistant there, back when Todd Buchanan was the head coach. Yep. And coming in, I remember, um, I remember you saying, Hey, I'm Chris. I'll be covering y'all game today. I'm like, hey, I'm Raven. I'm the new kid. So if anything messes up, it's definitely my fault. And you was just gracious and helping us do um, game day and everything. So um, we've, we've been knowing each other since HBU, and I was in 20, 2005. It's a long time, Raven. It's a long time. <laughs> it's a long time. Yep. Is, when you said out loud, it's definitely long, isn't it? Yeah. Well, please tell uh, B. May, Brittany Mason, I said hello. I definitely will. I definitely will. Josh Criswell, remember Josh? He yes, says hi. Do. Oh, tell Josh to say hello. I saw him yesterday uh, at UH. We were covering the Cougs men's team's first fall practice. Okay. And I mentioned to him I was going to talk to you today, and he said, "Well, be sure until Raven and I said hi." Josh so is a nice guy, definitely a nice guy. So you tell him I'll say hello when you speak with him. I sure will. Who? Tell me about your squad this year. Who you got? You know, we're losing a lot of scoring this year. Um, we had two seniors that I thought kind of carried us, um, China Allen and Madeline Batista. Um, Madeline's playing in France right now professionally and China finishing up her, her master's um, here at Sam Houston State. So, you know, when you use that lose that much scoring, I think uh, Madeline was right around 12 or 13. China was right around 14, game, 14 points a game. So when you lose a little bit of that scoring right there, um, not that any coach get nervous, but you hope that someone comes in and can fill those shoes. And I think we have we recruited a really good class. Um, I think we recruited a lot of experience. Um, we have five transfers that came in to us this year. Um, Diana Rosenthal um, came from Prairie View. Yeah. So I think that um, she scores the ball at an elite level. Um, she's someone who plays really hard. We have uh, Alexis. Pause, pause right there, Rick. Okay. RJ, pause. She gets buckets. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, she gets buckets. Okay. All right. <laughs> go ahead. We have Alexis Seaton, who started for seven games. Then she had an injury to her knee. Um, so fortunately, we were gracious enough to have her back. And she averaged about seven points for us. So she comes back to us. Um, Kaylee's a senior. Kaylee Jefferson's been with me for five years. Um, thank God for COVID. I know that sounds bad, but I have opportunity to coach her one more year. And she's someone who brings a lot of leadership. Okay. So we're excited to have um, Kaylee back. Um, another upperclassman is Sydney Kemp. Sydney Kemp has been with us for four years. So she's a senior. Um, but the other transfers that we have, we have Renee. Smith, who came from Colorado, who didn't get to play a lot last year due to injuries, but I'm excited to see her uh, her progression um, thus far. Um, we have Cassidy Dixon. Um, she was at Grand Canyon. Um, then she went to Juco in Arizona. Um, so she's been doing great as of right now in the preseason. And, you know, we have um, 
We have Shanti, who didn't play a lot last year because of Shanti Henry. She's another transfer who didn't get to play because of injury. So um, we're pretty excited about, about our class, to be honest with you. Is the team healthy? Um, we are healthy right now. We do have one player that won't, won't play at the beginning of the year, tweaked her knee in a, in a preseason. That's Kayla Kelly. She's a transfer from Trinity Valley. So she's a kid that won't get to play early on, but we're expecting to have her back. For those who have not seen any of your teams, how would you describe your team, your coaching style, philosophy? Ah, oh, Chris, that's a tough one. You know, um, we, we try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, you know, we run a four-out motion offense, um, which sometimes goes into dribble drive. But I think that we make all our money on the defensive end. Um, we probably average 70 points a game. But, you know, we, we, we do a really good job of pressing the basketball and trying to force turnovers. But I think that that's what, what we've done great for the last couple of years is defending and rebounding the basketball. RJ, let me see. Uh, <laughs> injuries, you're only one, only one. Yes. You have a timetable once you're going to come back for this season? Um, we, we're expecting um, twin. We call her twin, but her name's Kayla Kelly. We're expecting her to be back right around December. But you know how that goes with injuries. You you hope you get them back sooner, but um, you got to trust the doctors in that situation. How has the transition to Conference USA gone for you and the team? I guess I, I can answer that question in January, but um, <laughs> I, I don't know, Chris. Uh, to be honest with you, this is going to be my third conference in four years. Yep. So, you know, I don't think that we we get an opportunity to really try to evaluate the conference. We don't get an opportunity to pretty much like, you know, just like I know, you know, what the Big 12, you know what they have, you know, what the ACC have, you know, what the WAC have and stuff like that, the Southland. But when you're going into a conference, um, you can you can say, oh, well, this is what they do well. But until you get in there and start playing some games, you don't know if it's going to be guard heavy, if it's going to be post heavy. And I think um, right now, you know, just from the teams that we've played in Conference USA, they've had a really good balance. So, you know, hopefully, you know, we we have that balance as well going into Conference USA. Do you – has it? how difficult has it been? You touched on it three – this will be the third conference for you in four years. How has it impacted recruiting? It's impacted because you're, you're trying to um, make recruits understand that, you know, although you're moving conferences, you're not moving down conferences. And, you know, like I know – um, that matters, especially if some players want to play at a high level, that matters. So, you know, the challenging part is just when somebody say, oh, y'all in the Southland, you're like, no, we're in the Southland like three years ago. Oh, you're in the WAC. No, we're in Comfort Should Stay. So that's the part that's challenging, making them understand, hey, this is where we are. This is where we're going to be for a while. And so that part has been challenging. As far as recruiting, you know, I think we do a really good job, um, not just in the state of Texas, but in the South of recruiting and kind of getting Sam Houston out there. So, um, that part hasn't been challenging, but definitely trying to get recruits to understand where we are in each conference is, is kind of challenging. How long have you been a coach? Not a head coach, a coach. I am going into my 20th year. I'm going into how, my 20th year. How long have you been a head coach? I'm going into my seventh year. Seventh year as a head coach. Seventh year. So you're going into your 20th year as a coach. Black don't crack. <laughs> well, so thank I'm, you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I was to say, because I'm, I'm sure folks watching us on YouTube and Facebook and X and Roku. Wow, she's been coaching that long. Yeah. <laughs> thank See, you. That's, that's why I asked. Describe your basket year. When you hooped, what was your game like? You know, I just wanted to be a dog. You know, I wanted to be aggravating on the court defensively. I wanted to be sound on the offensive end. So, I just wanted to be someone that every opportunity you gave me, whether it was getting a steal or making a bucket, I wanted to take advantage of it. And I definitely think I try to get that to our players as well. And I try to recruit athletes that have that same demeanor, just being a dog on the floor. And so, you know, that's something I take pride in. And even in the recruiting aspect, you know, if you can't defend or if you're not thinking about winning every game that's on our schedule, you know, you're somebody we really don't want on our basketball team. And so, I mean, you watched us play Rice this year. You know, we, we really want to get down and guard and mm -hmm. want to be really good on both sides of the ball. All right, Jay, Coach Raven Justice, Sam Houston, make it official. Let me know, officially, are y'all the Lady Cats or the Bear Cats or the Women's Cats, whatever? What are you? We are definitely the Bear Cats. We okay. are the Bear Cats. And, you know, we, 
we really have rebranded. I don't know if you, you saw that over the last couple of years, we've rebranded and, you know, we usually only go by Sam Houston. Um, right. We don't really go by Sam Houston State anymore. It's, it's Sam Houston. And, you know, I'm proud of that brand. I think it's came a long way and I'm excited about our future. I think that, you know, our football team going into FBS as well as going to Conference USA has, has helped us in recruiting. But, you know, like I know, when you move up levels, you definitely have an expectation in every program to be really, really good. Raven Justice, head coach of Sam Houston Bearcats women's basketball team. Thank you very much for taking time to join me here on the Houston Round Barbie Takeover. See, ya. Raven, I'm 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 branching out too. See, I'm growing and expanding too. See, <laughs> you are, you are. I remember when you was coming there with your little camcord and interviewing us, putting the mic back and forth. So yeah. Um, you're, you're a really good person to have on my side. And anytime I've ever been in your presence, you've been very positive and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And I will see you on November 14th for sure when y'all come to uh, Fertitta Center to face Houston. Looking forward to that. Sounds good. Chris, thank you so much for having me. I'm sorry for my delay, but I appreciate you having me. And I look forward to being on your show many more times, okay? You got it. And remind Brittany that I am just a, Social media hit away if she wants to do an interview. She'll love that. She would. She would. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You take care. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.